What is up, guys? Pro Player Apathy back with a new video. And today I'm going to be doing a class setup video for beginners. Basically, if you just got the game, this is the best class you can run. And I think it's the best class you can use right now. And before we go into it, obviously, you got to be a level four before you can edit your custom class. And, you know, that's sometimes it can be a little hard to do. But, you know, when you hit it, this is the first class you should run. Trust me. And to prove it to you guys, I want you to watch this video real quick of me dominating with this gun. You guys are going to see why. Woo! Bolios is lost. I know, brother. I know, bro. Oh, my God. Absolutely twisted. Oh, my God, bro. Tell me F don't got the snap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody clip. Somebody clip, brothers. Oh, my God. As you guys can see, I was snapping. Like, I was shooting my shot. But it wasn't only me. It wasn't only my shot. It was also the gun, man. The gun is just very good. It's a very good beginner and a very good starting gun. And it, you you have it unlocked as soon as you, you know, you hit level four. You can automatically put it on your slot. And the only difference is in the clip was that I had extended mags. I, I'm going to show you a class without extended mags because you unlock extended mags a little bit later. So these are basically, basically the same attachments I was running, though, aside from extended mags. Now, before we go into it, yes, you do got to level up the gun a couple levels, maybe four or five, which shouldn't take you more than two or three games to unlock, like, basically these three or four attachments. And this is all you need, man. This gun is really good. It's really powerful. It's very strong. The Kilo. And if you want to go into specifics, the Kilo 141. So basically, I have the Operator Reflex Sight. I think this is the best one out of these three that you kind of unlocked sort of at the same time or close to the same time. Uh, Mini Reflex is my favorite out of all of them. But you unlock this a little bit later on. So, I mean, once you unlock it, you want to put it on, you can put it on. But this is definitely, I just put the reflex sight, the regular reflex sight. Then once you unlock the flash guard, I kind of like the flash guard. It helps a little bit. It's nothing crazy, but you have the space for the attachment. It helps a little bit. Might as well put it on. Then, of course, you got the stock. Just basically, it's basically stock aim, walking, movement speed. Uh, you know, allows you to move around and aim in a little faster. It gives you that little strafe uh, advantage. And for the last thing, it's the command of foregrip. And it's the first thing you get here. And it's recoil and aiming stability. You know, it's very, very helpful. And yeah, you lose a lot of movement speed. But in the end of the day, man, you're you're an AR and a very dominant AR. So the reason I really like this gun is, one, you don't really need any crazy attachments for the gun to be very effective. And it's such a good beginning beginner gun due to that. Also, you can kind of run and gun with this gun. Like, it's sort of like a AR slash sub, in my opinion. Like, if you watch the clip, you know, I was literally just running, like, gunning people and just moving around like snapping on them and it's just very good it's a strong overall just very powerful gun and you start with it so why wouldn't you want to use it then next i'm rocking the x16 pistol it doesn't really matter what pistol you're running because you're not gonna be touching that you don't need that thing you don't need that thing you just need you just need the kilo and then for my perks i'm running double time i feel like double time is really effective just having being able to do that double sprint the tactical sprint a lot more and for a longer duration is just awesome it's so good in my opinion and i love using it then I got Hardline. It's probably the best perk you can use out of the, the lower ones and like the ones you start with. Because usually I think you start with only two perks each. So I think I think double time is the best. EOD can help, but I think double time is just way better. Um, Hardline over restock, 100%. Who cares about recharge equipment? You know, getting that one less kill for like a streak or like UAV or whatever, like that can be really helpful. Personal radar. So, you know, you just get like two kills and you already have it. Then for the last thing, I'm running tune up now this is really good for a field upgrade uh you know basically charges it a little bit faster and i feel like it's really effective maybe not for the ammo box uh but you know you unlock dead silence at level 10 now that's a little bit higher level but it doesn't take too long to get level 10 and you the fact that you can get dead silence even more it's really good Dead silence is a very good field upgrade then of course i'm running a frag grenade uh you know if you're into claymores if you're into those type of things uh, you can run if you want, you know, that, that's up to you. But I think frag grenade is better in my opinion. And, you know, I do want to nade somebody out of their, their power spot or nade somebody out of the hill or whatever game mode you're playing. Like frag grenades are just good overall. Always been used. And a flash grenade because, you know, flash grenades blind. You can blind multiple targets. You don't necessarily have to hit them. You can hit in the radius. Stuns are actually pretty good, though. So it really, this is just whatever you want, man. If you're, 
granted stun grenades. I'm not sure what level you lock stun grenades, but I know you start with start with a flash grenade, so you might as well use a flash uh, flash grenade. But if you start also kind of close uh, early levels of stun grenade, or you start with a stun grenade, then you it's really up to you, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a very nice, short, sweet, awesome video for you guys. Just a little tip, you know, class setup for beginners, especially if you're just starting, if you just got the game, or you know, you're kind of you don't know what class to run, what's the best gun, especially at the beginning. Uh, hopefully this clears some things up and you know just do your thing man keep working hard and you guys will be at the top just like me now but seriously hope you all have a great day make sure to like comment subscribe especially if you enjoyed the video and if it helped you and apathy is out